Hey, what is going on my future mail list? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Taylor Brands. I'm going to be taking you on a guided tour of their AI platform, providing you all the information you could possibly need about Taylor Brands and also giving you my honest review on whether or not I think Taylor Brands is worth your time and money. And we're starting right now. So let's go. So Taylor Brands is a suite of tools to help you create and manage your business designs everywhere and anywhere that your brand appears. They use software and artificial intelligence to not only create your business's look and feel, but also maintain that look and feel anywhere and everywhere that you want, okay? So their main tool is their logo maker, which I'll demo later on in this video. Rather than use templates or quiz questions like traditional automated logo makers, they have you answer whether you like or dislike styles and things like that. We'll get into it later. The AI does a version of Netflix's recommendation algorithm, but with design styles instead. So once you approve a certain design style, this software creates an entire brand identity and uses rules to apply it to applications ranging from a standalone logo to Instagram profiles to website headers to presentation headers, okay? There's so much you can do with your logo once it's created. If at any point during or after this video you would like to try out Taylor Brands for yourself, you can do so by using the link in the description down below. It's completely free to use their platform and get a logo designed. And if you'd like to purchase the logo along with one of their plans, be sure to use the code DM15 for a 15% discount on any of your orders. So I'm gonna quickly talk about how Taylor Brands works. First of all, just to give you a general idea of what they do. So Taylor Brands works by moving you through its logo maker, which doubles as like a brand identity developer. You're given options and you can run the software as many times as you want. It's entirely up to you how many logos you wanna make. Once you've approved your de design, you're taken to a studio with mock-ups and style guidelines, and you then have choice of three different pricing plans, okay? Now these pricing plans are going to differ depending on when you're watching this video, all right? But you can see them on your screen right here. So the first basic plan provides access to your logo, social media tools, and graphic design library. You can also connect your domain to a basic landing page builder as well. The second plan, uh, they also provide you with access to EPS vector files for outdoor and like print to use, things like that, in addition to a full website builder and advanced design tools as well. And the third and final plan provides access to social media schedulers, analytics so that you can bring your social media management under a single platform. You can also accept payments and run an online store as well. And note, you can cancel and keep all your design assets as well. So technically, if you just need a logo, you can get the cheapest plan for like a couple of bucks and still get your logo at the end of it. The plans all provide ongoing access to tools to manage your brand designs and you retain full ownership of all brand designs and assets even after you cancel your membership. So some of the pros of using Taylor Brands, let's get into those because for a relatively new product, Taylor Brands actual product is very well executed. There are very few bugs or real complaints that I found with the actual core product. The real advantage and disadvantage is the unique positioning as like a, a tool suite. Here are some of the main pros of using Taylor Brands, not only for logos, but as a design management tool suite as well. So the first thing is pr their product focus on branding over assets. So as mentioned in the introduction, one big issue with the DIY design tool world is the focus on design assets. It's easy to create a Facebook post on Canva or bulk generate Google Ads with Display Ad Planner. Those tools are easy and usually free but they are inherently separate. You have to manage your images across all these different tools, okay? A huge pro for Taylor Brands is that they have an entire tool suite that focuses on unifying your entire brand everywhere. They focus on keeping that brand identity right on rather than focusing on giving you the best uh, like tool for the biggest font library or the most intuitive CSS editor. They don't have that. They just have it all in one nice convenient place for you. So if you look at some of the design tools, uh, like one-on-one -on -one with direct tool competitors, they may or not be the best, but Taylor Brands can keep everything looking good everywhere, looking like consistent, which is their main pitch to customers who would benefit from their product. 
In my experience, especially with small and local businesses, it's a consistent brand identity paired with a good product and service, obviously, that allows them to complete, compete with established big name brands. Now, if you can rem just remove the infamous pixelated cover photos, you'll probably beat your competition already. And if you can ensure that your new assistant can quickly handle good looking Instagram posts, all the better. That outcome is Taylor Brand's main focus and it comes off well in the product. All right, so let's talk about their pricing and structure and their cross sales as well. So every software as a service struggles with business models and pricing, it's just a fact. You want your service to be accessible, but also profitable. This balance is especially hard to strike with design assets where it's usually a one and done proposition. So Taylor Brands runs on a subscription business model, but the subscriptions focus on the design tools rather than the design assets, okay? This structure creates a couple of useful incentives. First, it means that there's no question of ownership or of, of design assets. You own your brand, period. You own everything on there. In fact, it means that you can get a really cheap logo if that's all you want, okay? You can pay for one month, download your assets, and cancel straight away. You've got a high quality logo in a range of file types for less than like 50 bucks, okay? Second, it means that while Taylor Brands has to keep optimizing their logo maker to bring in more customers, they also have to keep developing better design tools to keep customers around. There's no disincentive to extort customers over their design assets or to drag their feet over product development. And third, the subscription encourages use from customers rather than a one done download. The real productivity boost for business is having a go-to design tool with everything in one place where you or even a new team member can quickly create new designs and assets on an ongoing basis. And usually the more you use a tool, the better you can get as well, obviously. Also, you've got software that will adapt to frequent social media image requirements as well. Taylor Brands does that for you. All right, so let's talk about the speed and feature versatility. So since Taylor Brands is fully automated, there are no constraints on time, speed, revisions, requests, or redos. If you want to try a graphic design uh, like at 2 a.m. Eastern time, you can. If you want to completely redo your design, you can. If you need to mock up right now, you can get it, okay? There's no delay in turnaround or schedule to meet. There's no back and forth or waiting for your designer or virtual assistant. There's just the software that is working 24-7, 365 days a year. And that is a huge advantage for Taylor Brands. It works on your timeline. And if you are trying to actually run a business, working on design anytime means that it will get done, okay? If you are running your business full time, you likely don't have time during business hours. And if you are working on a side project, you have to work on it outside business hours. Additionally, since Taylor Brands has a whole suite of design tools, there's no downloading or cropping or exporting or importing. Everything is just there to use, okay? Convenience generally beats everything in my opinion. And when it comes to branding, Taylor Brands makes brand design convenient above all else. All right, so their backend quality and their usability is also a pro in my opinion. So even though Taylor Brands focuses on the branding aspect of design across their suite of tools, the tools themselves are high quality and actually rock solid. They've built some tools in-house but others, they've, ha they've used high quality third party tools and just customized them. For example, their website builder is built on top of the Duda website builder, which is one of the best website builders that I've actually used. Same with their social media tools. It looks like they've white labeled a third party tool, but whatever it is, it's legit and it's high quality. Same with the design editor and others. It's all great quality, works excellently. So each tool is solid and highly usable on its own, but when they are all bundled within Taylor Brand Suite, it just makes the, even, each tool even more useful than it would be on its own. All right then, so let's get into the cons or the disadvantages of using Taylor Brands because every product has disadvantages. So here are a few trade-offs and complaints that I found myself while using Taylor Brands. First thing is their customer education and brand identity. So. Even though Taylor Brands does a lot of the branding and design work for the customer, they still leave a lot of creative work up to the customer. The trade-off of any service that claims to do everything for you is that the customer's expectations are not set like, correctly, okay? When it turns out there is some work to be done, it's easy to bail instead of figuring the work out. 
A Taylor Brands customer still needs to be prepared to think through where, when, how they'll need these to use these designs. And the logo maker sequence is great, but after creating the logo, there's very little guidance for a new customer on what to do next. There's a ton of options with no real onboarding guidance or customer examples. Their welcome email series is limited to deals and cup coupons uh, rather than like here are some common next steps or here are some common use cases, things like that. I can imagine that customers who don't have a strong sense of direction would churn quickly after getting a logo idea, okay? Now if you do end up using Taylor Brands, do note that you should have an idea of what you need to get out of it first of all, rather than just using it for a new tool's sake. Now it is free to use, like I said, so you can use it if you want to, just to play around with it, have a look what designs they make for you. It's completely free to actually make the logos beforehand. You just have to pay for them. But I do have that 15% discount code for all your orders. Don't forget, that link will be in the description down below. So next up, the branding process and revision. So Taylor Brand's fully automated AI powered design process leaves humans out of the process deliberately, okay? That choice cuts costs, increases efficiency, increases choice, and makes the platform what it is, okay? But the trade-off with this choice is that it leaves out humans. And humans are still critical to produce like truly unique or truly outstanding brands. That's just my opinion. Brands are built on stories and stories are what makes us human. Humans can also ask like pertinent questions, push back on scope, implement creative deadlines and invent completely new concepts. Taylor Brand software can create a brand design and a brand style guide, but it cannot assign meaning or purpose of symbolism or even provide a reason why a certain design works over another. It only knows what works based on other user data. So in conclusion, Taylor Brands is a very unique and useful addition to the design world. In fact, for many businesses, it could do a full end around the traditional, like upload your logo to a website builder model. By bundling design management tools, including a social media editor and quality website builder with an automated logo and brand designer, Taylor Brands has figured out something new and different, which is nice to see. If you're a non-designer trying to build a consistent brand identity across the web and offline, Taylor Brands is definitely worth a try and I would highly, highly recommend it to anyone. So give it a shot now for free by clicking the link in the description down below. And if you'd like to purchase one of their plans, be sure to use code DM15 for that 15% discount. So that'll just about do it for this Taylor Brands review video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share on social media, and I will catch you in the next video.